Hello, friends. Welcome to the Proverbs 31 Ministries Morning Show. My name is Nicole Moses, and I'm with my friend and coworker, Maddie Vincent. How are you doing, Maddie? You know what, Nicole? I'm doing so good. I'm so excited to be here with you and our morning show friends. Okay, I have a very important question to ask. I want to know how everyone is doing, but I want to know it on a scale of one through five, one being like, I need another cup of coffee and maybe to go back to bed. (laughs) I mean, this is the best day of my entire life. Um, Where would you say you're at, Nicole? Um, I would say I'm a four. I am having a a very good day. I'm here in the office. I'm here with you and all my friends, but I also did sleep in this morning way more than I should have. And I was like doing my makeup in the car, you know, one of those days. So it's a good day, but I definitely felt a little rushed. So I'm a four. What about you, Maddie? Ooh, let me think. I am a little tired. So I have a cup of coffee, which if you know me, I only drink coffee when I'm very sleepy so (laughs) I'm like a 3.5 we have a lot of threes it looks like a lot of people are right there in the middle I love that reading your comments hey Nicole so it's Easter weekend it is um and I'm just wondering if you have any Easter traditions or what you're doing to celebrate Easter weekend Yeah. So, um, I don't have any lasting traditions in my family, honestly, like when we were kids, we did, you know, the like Easter egg hunt and Easter baskets, but, um, that unfortunately did not continue when we became adults, Mm -hmm. but I will be, my husband's father is a pastor. So we always go to his church and watch him preach and then have lunch with them. And then we go to my family's house um, and have another meal with them. So I just basically eat a lot <laughs> on Easter Sunday. What about you, Maddie? You know what? I used to go to a Monday Thursday service every year. Oh, cool. My church growing up, we didn't do like a traditional Good Friday service. We did a Monday Thursday service. Um, but my church here doesn't do that anymore. So we'll just do like Good Friday, Easter Sunday. I love Good Friday. I feel like it's such a special time to pause and reflect everything that Jesus Mm. has. So I am excited for this weekend. You guys keep checking back on the Proverbs social media channels. We have such good content that's going out that I know is going to bless you and encourage you. So we're excited for this weekend. Yes, absolutely. And let us know what your Easter plans are in the comments. We have them right here. And so we love to just read them and see what you guys are all up to. Well, Maddie, we have a very special morning show today. I'm so excited. We did something we've never done before. And so definitely let us know how you feel about it. If you thought it was cool or, you know, not so cool, but we did something so fun and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Yes. So we participated, Nicole and I participated in the grow challenge. Um, it, is really exciting. It is a four day challenge. Um, Each letter in the word grow stands for something, giving, receiving, observing, and worship. Um, A great challenge. And we actually vlogged our way through it. So we're gonna play the vlog, um, but interact with us in the comments. It's gonna be great. So. Hello, it's Nicole. I'm so excited for the next four days. We will be going through the grow challenge that is to give, receive, observe, and worship. And so today is giving day and I'm really excited. I was thinking through who do I want to give to? What do I want to give to them? And immediately one of my friends, Natalie, popped into my mind. She's one of my best friends and she's currently getting her master's of social work, which If you've gotten your master's or you're getting it right now, you know that is a lot of work. And so I'm so excited. I am at Panera. I'm going to pick her up some lunch. I just wanted to make her day that's filled with 
meetings and homework and studying just a little bit easier. I'm in my car. It's not even on. I'm not driving at all. Um, so today is day one, which is a day of giving. So the two very intentional ways that I'm planning on giving today is one, which is right now I'm going to take my friend Megan to the airport. And then the second way I'm intentionally giving today is I'm going to buy my friend Emma a cup of coffee. I will let you know how it goes. Hello friends. It is day two of our four day challenge. Today's topic is receive. So to reflect on a way um, that we receive something, maybe a blessing or a gift from God. And I really, I don't know if this is cheating, but I want to talk about something that happened last night. I was able to have dinner with some long-term mentors of mine. They, um, have been walking with me since high school. Um, and I can recall having conversations with them over a meal about where I was going to go to college or, um, trans when I transferred, that was scary. And I didn't know if I should or not. Um, when I was looking for an internship, when I was looking for a job, when I, um, got engaged. And so it was really sweet to reflect on how much this couple really poured into me and invested in me. Um, and it was so sweet to be able to, to do that sitting next to my husband and it felt very full circle. And so I just felt so thankful for the blessing of this friendship that the Lord gave to me that I feel like I am just so different for having them be in my life and pouring into me and um, encouraging me and just letting me word vomit to them as a 17 year old and then again as, as a 20 year old and then being able to sit together as adults. So I'm just so thankful for them and um, for the relationships in general that the Lord has um, gifted me with and blessed me with. And so that's what I've got for you today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, hi friends. So today, day is about receiving. I have been thinking about this of like how I can receive a blessing from the Lord. And actually, I love that this day comes after the first day, which was gifting, because I love gifting people. I love serving them. I love going out of my way to help them. I had such a blast taking my friend Megan to the airport, which I know sounds so silly, but I did. I had such a blast. Um, it was such an easy thing for me to do to serve her in that way. And I feel like it bettered her life. It gave us a chance to have a great conversation on the way. And then I turned around and I was planning on giving my friend Emma a cup of coffee and you guys, she beat me to it. She gave me a cup of coffee before I could give her a cup of coffee. And I was a little annoyed because I'm filming this. I needed to be able to tell you guys that I gave something to somebody yesterday. It got me thinking about how we receive the blessings that God gives us one year ago, I cut my finger. And I know that doesn't sound like a really big deal, but it is a big deal because I cut my finger and I cut my tendon and I cut my nerve and I had to have surgery and I had this crazy um, cast on my hand and I was pretty much incapable of doing anything for myself, um, which meant I couldn't cook. I couldn't drive, um, I could barely type. <laughs> and the Lord taught me through the season that when I have to be dependent on others to get my like basic everyday needs, it felt awkward and like embarrassing at first, but by the end of this whole process, it made me feel very loved. I just had to receive it. And when I apply that to my relationship with the Lord, when I apply that to receiving the blessings that he's given me in my life, I'm not embarrassed by my need for him. Instead, my need for him shows me how much he loves me because he always meets my need. So that is my takeaway from day two. Two more days.
Hey everyone, it's day three. We are observing today, observing um, God's voice in our lives, something he might be trying to um, train us or correct in us. And I feel like I kind of know, I when I was thinking about this, it popped into my mind pretty quickly that God has really been trying to impress upon me the importance of community. I am an introvert and sometimes I have the tendency um, to isolate myself and um, be okay with that isolation until I am like super, super lonely and like down in the depths of like sadness. <laughs> but I just feel like we. Oh no, friends, we're so sorry. It looks like that cut off. And you know what? The rest of the vlog is going to get posted on the morning show Facebook group. So make sure you're following us there and you can see how the rest of the two days ended up. Nicole, what did you think of the grow challenge? How did you feel about it? I thought it was so cool. I love that it made me intentionally reflect on things that I wouldn't normally like consciously think about, like consciously think about um, you know, something that God is trying to like train in me or correct in me or um, something that I like received and was very thankful for. And so I feel like it was just really cool to consciously like think about that and be thankful for it and thank God for it. And so I just thought it was like a really cool way to kind of change the way that I um, thought about things. What about you, Maddie? Yeah, I thought something that was really cool about it is none of them were like crazy challenges. Like there yeah. were things that we could do in like our everyday life. Um, but pausing to reflect on them really impacted me deeply. And I'm just so grateful that I got to do it. It was awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you guys liked that, make sure you go on the morning morning show Facebook group to watch the whole thing. Um, well, just like we did the grow challenge. We would love to challenge you all to do it. I think these four simple steps can help us all really grow in our relationship with God. So first is the G look around and see who can you give to. We know, um, our boss, Lisa Turkhurst, she prays for someone that she can bless every day. And I think that that's just such a great reminder to be intentional about it and not just wait around for someone um, to need you, but to look for ways that you can give. It can be as something as simple as um, being interested in someone's day or giving someone you love a hug or a compliment or buying a friend a cup of coffee. But I really think it changes your outlook um, when you do it with intention. For sure. And then the second letter is R and that is receive. This can be really hard because sometimes it almost feels selfish. Mm. Here's the thing. When we want to do what we want to do is just notice the ways that God's already blessed us and how he has placed in our lives people and things. And we just want to thank him for those things. This is how we receive. Um, so it can be the friends that you have. It can be the house that keeps you warm, or maybe it's just as simple as a beautiful spring day. It's just us receiving and acknowledging the blessings that God's given us that are everywhere. And just sometimes we forget to notice them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the next one is O for observe. This is noticing God's blessing. We can be purposeful in this by noticing what we're reading in God's word, something that is encouraging to us through a devotion, um, maybe where God is leading us in prayer. And so observing how God wants to train us or something he wants to correct in us through our time with him, it's more than just checking off a box, right? But it's really letting him speak to us through what we're observing. Yeah. And the last letter is W, which is worship. And it's just asking the question to ourselves, like, how can I intentionally worship God today? You know, God is so worthy of our praise. And when we think of ways that we can worship him, whether it's through putting on that worship song on our way to work, instead of listening to a podcast or a Taylor Swift song, um, maybe it's 
saying a prayer out loud or writing a prayer in a prayer journal. Um, maybe it's just literally verbally saying how wonderful he is. Mm -hmm. It really sets our hearts in a place of remembering who he is and all he's capable of. Um, I know these are just four things, but there are so many little things that we can do to grow our relationship with the Lord. And I love that this challenge that we did um, just helps us take little shifts of our focus to focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, a really cool way to do that is some of you may know that Proverbs 31 Ministries does this, but some of you may not, but we send a devotion for free, completely free to your email inbox Monday through Friday. And I think it's just the coolest way to start your day and align your mind with God's heart and just put some God's some of God's truth into your um, heart before you even start your day. So I think that that's really cool in a way that um, we can just remember who God is and how much he really loves us. Yeah, I get the daily devotions, the encouragement for today, daily devotions in my inbox every morning. And I love it because when I get to work, that's the first email that I open before I get into the rest of my work emails. And it only takes me like a few minutes to read it, but it really does just set my heart and mind in the right place. So we're going to link in the comments below um, the how do you sign up for these and you get them straight into your inbox every morning really awesome. Uh, if you don't already do it, I think it's a really simple way for us to just really focus on the Lord. Absolutely. Well, I would love to pray for us before we go. Can I do that? For sure. Awesome. Um, Lord, thank you so much that you are always with us. You're always speaking to us and pursuing us, Lord. And I just pray that we would be able to quiet the distractions in our lives to be able to hear your voice, God. Um, I just thank you for all of your blessings, Lord, and that um, I just ask that we would be able to recognize that, and especially in times um, that are hard or uncertain, but that we would come back to remembering all of the things that you have done for us in the past, and um, for that to be a way to spur on our faith and remember that you will still be faithful and good um, right now and in the future and all the days to come. Lord, I just pray that in this Holy Week and as we approach Good Friday um, and Easter Sunday, that our hearts are just so um, in tune with you that we would um, just be very um, in the moment with you and um, Lord, that we would be turning to you in this time. God, I just thank you for um, what your son did on the cross for us, Lord. And I just pray that this would um, really hit our hearts hard this time and that um, it would change the way that we live every single day moving forward. And so, um, Lord, I just thank you so much for these girls, for this community, um, and for your love. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Proverbs 31 Morning Show. We will be back again on Thursday, April 28th. It's going to be a great show and we would love to have you. Um, bye, friends. Bye.